Two all-electric vehicles and one hydrogen fuel cell vehicle recently earned the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's highest award, the Top Safety Pick Plus. In order to earn the 2019 Top Safety Pick Plus award, a vehicle must have good ratings in all of our crash tests, be available with a headlight system that also rates good, and a front crash prevention system that earns an advanced or superior rating. The Hyundai Nexo is the first hydrogen fuel cell vehicle ever to win an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus award. So um, I do want to ask you uh, one other about one other specific vehicle. Um, we've done uh, we've talked a lot about EVs today. We recently crash tested the Hyundai Nexo. Uh, it's a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Was the was the were the protocols for that like just totally different than than crash testing another uh, another vehicle? Um, it was kind of a hybrid between regular vehicle and EV. Uh, we didn't have a hydrogen protocol, still don't. In fact, uh, there are not many of those hydrogen-powered vehicles around. But as far as crash worthiness, they're the same. They have airbags, they have you know, airbag controllers. Uh, I believe we tested that. I, I don't remember every crash test we do because there's hundreds and thousands, but uh, I believe we ran that one at 50% um, pressurized in the tanks, hydrogen. Yeah, and I would note that we worked, I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but we worked pretty closely with Hyundai uh, for for getting that test, those tests um, ready to go. Is that right? Yeah, they um, they sent uh, technicians from Japan for that. Uh, wow. Because there, there was a lot of specialized and expensive equipment that there wasn't even available in the States other than some labs in California because that's the only place uh, hydrogen-powered vehicles are are running right now. Got it. Um, back to EVs. One thing um, I did want to ask: we we talked a little bit about um, the fact that they're not necessarily more expensive to test, but does it take longer in terms of preparation and breaking down afterwards, um, or is it sort of a similar timeline to a, a gasoline car?
hydrogen fuel tanks are made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, which is 10 times stronger than steel. In addition, fireproof material is applied to both the inside and outside surfaces. And when exposed to flame, safety valves release the internal pressure quickly to ensure safety. However, in the event of a fire, the tank will be damaged by hot flames, regardless of its material type. But instead of exploding, a hydrogen tank made with carbon fiber reinforced plastic, which is basically like thread, will rip apart when hit with great force. Causing the hydrogen to quickly disperse into the air. Let's examine how safe Hyundai's fuel cell electric vehicle Nexo is. All fuel cell electric vehicles currently sold in South Korea have passed the Korea Transportation Safety Authority's assessment test, as well as the UK's Vehicle Certification Agency's safety test. They have also passed the vehicle safety test and hydrogen tank certifications of Germany's Technical Inspection Association, the TUV. Also in 2018, Nexo was chosen as the safest SUV in Europe and the first to receive a top safety pick plus in a collision test by a US nonprofit vehicle safety institute. Nexo received good, the highest rating, in six rating categories that included moderate overlap front, driver side small overlap front, passenger side small overlap front, side roof strength, head restraint, and seat. Additionally, it is undergoing several hydrogen fuel tank safety assessments, including burst, drop, flame, and extreme temperature tests. <laughs> 